right, so you've made it through video number one. This is video number two. How do I remove the legs and the thighs and even that little chunk called the oyster that sits along the back? Now we are left with our back legs and thighs that a lot of people don't save. So now that we have exposed this, we've used this as our tripod, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in, we follow this leg up right here in the middle. So there's triangles, you see this triangle? It's gonna go down. You see where all these muscles go in, they kind of make this little peak. Right here is where your little ball socket joint is gonna be. We're gonna come take our knife right where that socket is, and you're gonna watch this leg kind of just fall away. Okay, see how it just, just gonna fall right off that. So we're just gonna take that around, continue to follow that carcass bone, your pelvic bone. Then, right up here on top, that's what we call, that, that's where your oyster is gonna be. Your oyster of your bird is gonna sit. It's one of my favorite parts, it sits there on your turkey, it sits there on your chicken, it sits there on your duck. So we'll flip that over. We're gonna come right into that pocket. It's gonna be a little divot right here in that back pelvic area of that bird. And we're gonna kind of just carve out that oyster. As you can see, it's a big divot that sits right there. That's a big chunk of meat that a lot of people are gonna leave on that bird. And we're just gonna finish this around, continue to take this off, following around that bone. You're gonna have your thigh, you're gonna have your drumstick. I'll show you how to separate those in just a second. We're gonna do the same thing on this other side. Right, so you see that that bone is already exposed from when we pulled it down. So we're gonna follow that line where the tail is, all the way around to kind of separate it, break that little tendon in there, get the meat that's right here. We're then gonna flip that bird over. We're gonna remove that oyster, right? It's gonna sit directly across from that other one. So we're gonna pull in, and go get all the way down into that, into that carcass. And we're gonna pull off that leg and that thigh, just like that. So now we've got this overall carcass left. You have a backbone that goes on this carcass. You also have a neck. My favorite thing to do with this carcass is throw this entire thing into a stock pot uh, with some onions, carrots, anything else you wanna go into your basic stock. You make a wild turkey stock with this. So this doesn't go to waste. Uh, and the best part is there's still little chunks of meat. So it'll float, it'll separate, and you can always pull those off. We're gonna get back to our prime, our prime cuts up here and show you kind of how to finish butchering those, those prime cuts out. And we'll make some stock with this later. Thanks for watching. For more how-to videos, check out our YouTube as well as our website at calwaterfowl.org.